Hello everybody, it's John, JohnstonCornNation.com here to talk to you about a favorite off-season topic, the Nebraska football sellout streak. It is. It's normally every year that I've been running coordination, which is 15 years now, every May and June, it's like in a guidebook somewhere or a law. We have to discuss whether or not Nebraska's sellout streak is going to survive the coming season. And this year, well, I don't know. Does 2020 count against the sellout streak? I, you know, I don't know. And I, I don't care either. Right now it's listed at 375 games. Started on November 3rd, 1962. That's the year I was born. So imagine how old that sellout streak is. Pretty damned old. And really pretty impossible to, well, impossible to replace in my lifetime. Do we have to argue about whether or not it's still really a valid solid streak? Did 2020 count? Don't care. I see the negative responses from people. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's, it's fake because corporate sponsors are buying them tickets and giving them away. Like that would be fake somehow. There's still tickets sold. I've seen empty seats. You know, it's, it's tickets sold, not butts in the seats. The other thing is, do you talk to a, pro a promoter, like people who put on, you know, concerts like Garth Brooks or Styx? <laughs> They'd tell you that 90% of tickets sold would be a, considered a sellout. So maybe not get so anal about it. You know, and the, the, the only th people you see complaining about the sellout streak in its current form are Nebraska fans who are, are angry. I don't know if you're just bitter again or angry. You go through life spreading bitterness and unjoy to people. But, you know, like Desmond Howard last year told us we should live, leave the Big Ten. I don't recall Desmond Howard or anybody of that ilk ever saying anything about the Nebraska sellout streak. They tend to hold it in awe, and they should, because it's a damned impressive streak. My entire life, we've sold out football games. And I get why some people, you know, there's always them people well, I'd like to say it and. And I, I kind of get some of them, you know. I've seen some of your responses. You want Scott Frost fired because he hasn't brought the glory back to Nebraska after all the fanfare and excitement of getting him hired and bringing him in and the Big Ten's going to have to adjust our offense and all the things he said. I guess for that stuff I'd say, uh, what's your plan? You know, if you, yay, Scott Frost gets fired. What's next? Because I'd really like to know who you think is going to come to Nebraska. Because if the sellout streak ends, right, coaches are going to look at us and they're going to say, well, they got no recruiting base because of our small population, 500 mile radius thing going on. And if the sellout streak ends, it's kind of a sign that we really don't have a fan base anymore. So why would anybody come to coach Nebraska? Because we can throw money at them? Bad reason. And look at Texas. They have all the money on the planet, and they have a recruiting base, and they keep firing and hiring coaches. They haven't had any success. So, and it's not to say that we wouldn't find the, the, it's some genius, but I'm not going to go into this too long. Let's just hope that Scott Frost pulls it out of the can this fall, and we have a winning football season. We don't have to worry about that stuff. You know, the sellout streak is a source of pride, or it should be for Nebraska fans. Because nobody else comes close to this stuff. Uh, we are, you know, we have those signs on the stadium. They say, greatest fans of college football. And when people kind of give us crap for that, which I think they should, but we can always say, hey, we have a 375-game sellout streak back to 1962. What do you got, Chungus? Probably nothing to combat that. So, source of pride, yes. Is it in danger of ending? You know, it kind of looks like uh, it, it might be this year. Uh, the regular media guys haven't touched it, which normally we do every year, like I said. But you've got, we're coming out of a pandemic. I know a lot of people want to declare it over, and a lot of people declare it never happened. But you know as well as I do, when you sit in a memorial stadium and it's full, you're sitting really close to the person next to you, 
and a lot of us have gotten big over the years, like really big with that Nebraska beef diet, and you kind of get stuck in there like sardines. So are people going to be wary about coming back to the stadium in the fall with, you know, COVID still lingering around and things like that? Eh, maybe they will be. Um, it's easier to watch games at home. You've got a great big TV, you've got 4K, you've got cold beer in the fridge, you can scream profanities at your TV like I do, and you can get up and, and yell. And some guy isn't poking you in, with his cane and going, sit down, you're down in front, sit down. You know, and you, but basically you don't have to put up with other people. It's easier to watch at home than it is to go. Uh, another source of complaint, Electronic tickets. Nebraska has moved to electronic tickets, and I have talked to people that do not like that at all. They don't feel comfortable with technology. Uh, they want to be able to print them out. And I get that. I, you know, if you don't understand that, you're just... You've never experienced walking up to a gate and having a scanner not work, which is what somebody told me about at Haymarket Park when we were playing baseball. So... It's easy to dismiss that as old people, well, bullshit, you know? It's enough to make a lot of those people maybe sit at home and watch on their TV and not go to games, which would end the sellout streak. So and that's another source of problem. I think we all know what the biggest reason for the sellout streak potentially ending is, and that is a crappy product. I mean, Scott Frost was supposed to be the second coming of Tom Osborne, the savior and we've really seen nothing like that. We have not been to a bowl game. We've not had winning seasons. We've had a honestly a really crappy hard to watch product on the field. And it's certainly understandable for Nebraska fans to look at that and say, you know what, I'm not going to throw any more money at this program until I actually see something that, I, that is worth me spending my money on. It's a valid complaint. So will that affect ticket sales this fall? From what I've heard from people who buy season tickets, uh, there are a lot available. So the I think somebody's quote recently was, it's going to take a small miracle for the sellout street to continue. You know, maybe a corporate sponsor will step up. Maybe somebody, then that's fine with me. But I'd be sad for it to go away, I think. And I really hope that we see a good product and we don't have to worry about it after that. People get out there. I mean, the, the biggest pro about Nebraska's sellout streak is that it's Nebraska game day is an incredible event. It's a chance for everybody in the state, pretty much, to gather around one thing we all love. When you go to Lincoln for a game, you can walk all over the tailgates and see people all over that you grew up with from all these little towns all over the place. And they all get together in Lincoln. And it's, it's fun, normally. <laughs> And I hope that it continues for that sake. I am interested to know what you think about it. So leave me some comments. Leave me some feedback. If you've made it this far, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, look at the show notes. Because I wrote a book. You should buy it. I was dead once. I recovered. I have a brain injury. Sometimes I talk poorly. I'm not talking about the swearing. So look at the show notes. Look here for more support and more off-season topics because we still have a few weeks to go before Big Ten Media Days. And uh, I hope you're taking care of yourself. Go Big Red. Thanks. Bye.